I'm frustrated and conflicted because, well, BMW is driving a wedge between motorists with this big Bavarian, the BMW i7 M70. And it's not a debate between petrol or electric either. No, this is much deeper and more profound than that. So, which do you choose? The front seat or the back seat? Have your say in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's get to it. The all-electric 7 Series flagship is the fastest non-M model BMW has ever built and arrives in Australian showrooms in late 2023, priced from an eye-watering $350,000. The design is a story of shock and awe with enough bling to make Jarul blush. And it starts with these headlight clusters which have Swarovski crystal inlays. Plus there's a new black grille, lots of M badging, new rear bumper and this paint job, Tanzanite blue. That is very expensive. The 230 kilowatt rear mounted motor has been replaced with a 360 kilowatt jobby and combined with the front mounted motor belts out 485 kilowatts and a tire shredding 1100 newton meters of torque when using launch control. Bragging rights matter, and thankfully for the i7 M70, it's got one kilowatt more power than its arch rival, the Mercedes AMG EQS 53, but it has 150 Newton meters more torque and is quicker from zero to 100 by one tenth of a second. This Big Bertha comes with a 101.7 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery located under the floor, but because performance has been dialed up, range drops from 625 to 560 kilometers. The interior is, well, equal parts astounding and confronting. It's almost like stepping into a pair of satin slippers. Scotty has gone into great detail in the local launch of the i7 xDrive 60, and you can click the link up there somewhere to find out more, but safe to say, this is going to blow your mind. It is full on, and I love little things too, like these Swarovski crystal cut glass elements, even on the door, it is just sumptuous. If you thought the captain's chairs were mint, wait till you get a load of the back seat. This is just amazing. These fluffy headrests, you've got a wireless charging pad. Check it out, there's even a couple of cup holders here. Plus, there's even touch screens in both doors. So you can adjust the seats, there's massage function. You can add air piping through the seats, air conditioning, there is so much going on here. And this is the piece de resistance. Hit the theater button and all the blinds roll up and this giant 4K screen comes down. And it kind of begs the question though, with all this pomp and pageantry in such a high performance vehicle, is all this backseat splendor a little bit wasted? There's no denying this is a cool car. Those twin motors giving it vicious but creamy smooth and remarkably honest acceleration. What BMW has done with its adaptive dampers, air suspension, a stiffened front end and even active anti-roll bars is make a vehicle big and heavy feel light and nimble. It is really quite perplexing. It sits so flat through the corners, it's quite phenomenal. But the problem you have with this car is it's so quiet inside and it's so well damped against the outside world, you can't hear when the wheels start squealing and its weight is felt when you really start pushing hard. And, uh, but look, even when that happens, it still feels controllable and somewhat predictable. I honestly didn't think this vehicle would be so compelling to drive at high speeds, but it is, and it shows the M Division really knows this stuff. It's gonna be interesting to see what else they do to upcoming EVs like the M3 EV, which has just been confirmed. That, with its quad motors and up to 1,000 kilowatts of power, double what you've got here, 
be absolutely phenomenal. How a 2.7 tonne car can be so fast and so engaging boggles the mind, and that it cocoons occupants in so much luxury and technology is just the icing on the cake. If you're looking for the ultimate business class cruise missile, this vehicle is well worth investigating. We'll conduct a more thorough review once we get it on the road in Australia, but I cannot wait to see how it fares against the Mercedes AMG EQS 53. That is gonna be a heavyweight battle worth waiting for.